The Supreme Court decision to end race-conscious admissions does not end race-conscious admissions. It certainly reverses the standard or the precedent we've had for at least 45 years as to how we can admit students with race consciousness in mind. But it does so in a severely narrowed way. The Supreme Court's decision is commonly misconstrued because there's a concerted effort to make sure that it is. In other words, there are people that would like us to think that affirmative action is dead in every, every single aspect. The misconstruction is that diversity can no longer be a value that a higher education institution serves. It still can be. We just need to be very, very careful about the way we pursue those goals. It is important for us to remember that the Supreme Court's decision does not prevent us from recruiting students of a diverse and racial ethnic background. It is very important for us to go to schools, go to colleges, uh, increase their understanding of public health and what it offers as a career, and as such, encourage them to apply to these programs. Once you have enough of diversity within your applicant pool, half the work is done, and that increases our likelihood of finding a committed and competent students to join our graduate programs. We have seen an uptick in our applications for medical school and for our Masters of Public Health. I was on a phone call the other day with other HBCU presidents and they too are seeing an uptick. And so what do we do with that information? It's about increasing the number of faculty and also making sure that we are modernizing the curriculum to actually be even more inclusive. So we are being prepared uh, in the way to accept an increase in the number of students, but we want to be able to give them continued rich experience. What I would say to those leaders in higher ed, it's the same thing I would say to those students who are grappling with the decision at the school to stay the course. There are ways in which we can continue to make sure that the educational experience for all students includes the educational benefits of diversity, looking at race as well as other diversity factors based on each individual's experience, characteristics, and contributions to the institution. Encourage academic institutions to hire faculty that are of a diverse background. Students are seeking programs where they can see faculty that represent them racially, ethnically, and culturally. At Morehouse School of Medicine, we are so excited that we never have to use race as one of our criteria for selection of someone to come to medical school. We look at something called adversity scores, which align with our mission, our values, and our vision for achieving health equity. And we've been able to continue to seat and diverse class, and I think we're gonna be able to do this into the future.